is May Day asking for help in times of need. Uh, Andrea Gigline talking about that. The author goes into seven steps. Yep. Um, you know, that's, that's the sign to me of a great self-help book. They give you a process, clear and short. You know, five to seven is generally what humans like to relate to. And the steps that she has outlined, for me, are really those things that if you just sit with a book, do the exercises, and then the exercises will require you actually take some action. You know, it's not just a thought process. So the first one is, name the need. You know, I didn't know that I had a need to ask for help or learn to ask for help until people started asking, what can I do, you know, can I bring something, mm -hmm. can I bring something? So it's about doing that. One of the other steps is to give yourself a break. And that was one that I will say that I needed many years to learn. Because if I thought that me having you come into my house and me doing everything was a sign of how wonderful I was, the self-talk about me saying yes to you, oh, that I need, you know, that you're gonna bring things, what if they don't bring something that other people like? What if it's cold? What if it's not cooked right? What if it's this? What if it's that? Or they think I can't do it. Oh, my Super goodness. Super mom, you can do everything. Oh, I mean, my not gosh. necessarily you, yeah. but. No, you, not necessarily you. me. <laughs> <laughs> Mom syndrome. Absolutely. And so becoming more compassionate with yourself is one of the suggestions. Examining your needs, looking around, and then take a leap of faith that you know what? Even if the casserole shows up a little bit cold, what difference would it make? Wasn't it nice that someone was thoughtful enough right. to bring the casserole? Exactly. And so then it's the whole process of getting yourself to ask. And I've got to tell you, working up the backbone to ask for assistance, whether it's something as minor as what dish would you like to bring on Friday night, to I need help being driven to a cancer treatment, mm -hmm. is really the ability to look around your world, and technology is actually one of those things that can help. Who am I connected to? What people, because you're not going to ask the same people to help you in the same areas mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then one of the things as in what Mindy, the life coach Mindy that was here was talking about was listening. Because it is very interesting when you listen for the for the compassionate level of, you know, I'm asking this person to do something, but will they be able to fulfill the need? Are they awkward about it? And that great fear, oh my gosh, if I say yes to you, if you say yes to me because you've done a request for me, how many things are you going to be asking for me to do? that I have to repay you for. Do you think that enters our consciousness? I think it takes up full-time residency, yes. Really? <laughs> oh, I absolutely do. Yeah. When it comes to you asking, not when it comes to someone asking you, Okay. When someone asks you, you'll think, well, how nice. Oh, well, yeah, if I could do it, I would. Like, you immediately start wondering, can I do it? Mm -hmm. But the person doing the asking, particularly if they have been driven to be self-sufficient, they are generally so busy that they've already played out in their mind, well, she can't possibly do that because she has all those things that she's doing. How could she help me with this? And I'm playing in my mind, oh, my goodness, if she says yes, how am I ever going to repay her? We think that it has to be transactional. And that's where things like leaps of faith and then being grateful. You know, the concept of being grateful that you, in fact, just said yes and not believing that I have to repay you, but just accepting the gift as something that you have been willing to do. Comes in living in an attitude of gratitude. Absolutely. And which is almost in every yes. self-help book. And the, it is the core. And in positive psychology, gratitude and developing the skill of gratitude is the number one skill for resilience and attribute towards a happier life. All people must learn to be grateful. So I am initially grateful that you said yes and then that you do it. And then the next step is to remember that gratitude by being thankful. So I then should do things like verbally say that I'm thankful, write a note. Not that I have to reciprocate, but I have to acknowledge that you, in fact, did something that I requested and I am truly grateful and thankful that you did that. So the last part, which is that whole active listening, they actually, uh, the Nora has it as the sixth step. And what I have taken from the whole listening part is that when we are listening, we listen, you know, through the vehicle of our ears, but it's a lot like what Mindy was saying, you know, you're really listening with your eyes 
and you're listening with your heart and then you'll be able to know is this the right person for me to be asking for help but at the base of it now what I really loved about the book in the end is a whole resources and in the resources they're saying come together let's talk about this book let's do the exercises let's take action as a group so it's a self-help book that's actually saying come together which speaks exactly to you know what's happening with technology in separating us well we as the highest level of consciousness can actually take the action that says yeah I could read the book by myself I could do the exercises and never do anything else or I could have people come together in my living room and talk about it and find out what are the needs that we have in our workplace in our communities in our lives so that's you know that's where I thought it hit interesting yep Andrea very interesting there's a, and there's a work a sheet on my site you can buy the book through my site and of course there's always our lovely libraries where if uh, you ask for May Day they will get it for you asking for help in times of need and it may be a personal need business need a spiritual need correct uh, obviously we don't isolate the yep. need step one is you know name that need <laughs> thank Andrew, you thank you so much for being with us you're very welcome Okay, I'm going to ask for help from you because we have a new sponsor right here on the show and the help I'm going to ask from you is to visit the Larry Networks. And let me tell you, when it comes to internet service, when it comes to connecting you, talking about all this technology out there, things I don't even understand, they will help you. They will help you. Walk in the door and say, explain to me what you can offer to me. The Larry Networks hooking us up to the world. The world that is just out there floating around and where does it come from anyway is all out there in the universe the Larry Networks internet connection at its very finest